Hey, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Apple device on 5.1.1 on Absinthe, Absinthe 2.4, 2.0.4. To download this jailbreak on your computer for Windows, it is very hard. You have to go to the Green Poison website and you have to download it and then you have to go to properties you have to go to you have to open the download at the bottom of your screen go to right click it go to properties go to service pack go under Microsoft XP or Windows XP and then click run as administrator and then run run as something else I forgot but I think you, as long as you put run as administrator you're good and then there's gonna be a folder that shows up on your desktop and then you click on it and then you go you click on this app which is the same app but it's run as administrator <laughs> so that's what it says is welcome to Absinthe iOS 5.1.1 .1, untethered jailbreak Please make a backup of your device before using this tool. We don't expect any issues, but we aren't responsible if anything happens. Plug in your iDevice to begin. I have not plugged in my iPod yet, or my phone. What I'm going to do is show you guys that I'm running 5.1.1. Right there. 5.1.1, 9B206, AT&T. Okay, and I'm going to back up my phone to iCloud. And I last backed up yesterday at 11:26. Back up now. Backing up. Okay, now that it's all backed up, it says last backup 3:46 p.m. and it is 3:46 p.m. right now. All right, so I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna. Cancel all my running applications and now I'm gonna plug it in. With my little out of box lab, plug it in. It's gonna recognize it in a second. So this is so, so plugging your eye device to begin, and it's gonna recognize it. Waiting, waiting. Okay, see now it says iPhone 4 GSM with iOS 5.1.1 detected. Click the button to begin. Now let's hope this works. Ah, jailbreak. Connecting to a device. But getting the jailbreak this may take a while. I'm taking you guys through the whole process besides the downloading part because that confused me see right now on the phone nothing's happening well it's happening but it, there's nothing happening so where I can't use it there's a little swirly thing up there sinking and it says beginning jailbreak this might take a while by the way while I'm doing this video um, see, I got my Otterbox case. I got it three months ago. A couple, I don't know if it was three, but it was a couple months ago. And this thing up here, I don't know, I guess I used my headphones too much and it ripped off. I'm using it one day and it, it ripped off. So, what I did is I went to the Otterbox website and I emailed them. And then I got an email back in like a couple minutes saying that they they got my email and they're gonna look at it and when they look at it they're gonna email me. So what they did today is they emailed me and said that all I have to do is send a picture of this like how it is how it's ripped off 
and with my name, like, with my name written down on a sheet of paper, and the date, and then they will send me a new case. So, I'm, I love Otterbox right now. They stand by what they, what they supply. Alright, so it says, sending initial jailbreak data. This may also take a while. And still nothing. Phone's not inactive anymore. Phone never was, but I can still use it. And everything. It's about 35% into the bar. Sending final jailbreak data. Your device will appear to be restoring a backup. This may also take a while. Restore in progress. This is the part that scares me because once you restore it, you might not get everything you have back on there. Now it is restarting. It says waiting for reboot. Not done yet. Don't unplug your device yet. Do not unplug your device. Okay, it's restarting right now. See the Apple logo? Okay, now it's loading the bar. It says waiting for process to complete. And it rebooted. I'm not going to do anything right now because I'm going to wait for it to tell me I can do stuff. It is done. It says enjoy. And it says my storage is almost full. So let's see. And you can see Cydia right there. Good. Just make sure it's working. Preparing file system. Cydia will exit when complete. Okay, well. I'm gonna wait for that to finish and then and then I'm gonna play with Cydia around for a little bit. So you guys like the video, thumbs up, comment. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching.